A single mom and her two young children are left without a home after a fire destroys it and everything inside just weeks before Christmas. The family met up with News Channel 5 Cena Sleem to see the home for the first time since the tragedy. We went to bed and woke up to this <laughs> like a dream. <laughs> I don't think it's really set in. I mean, I know it has. I know that this has happened, but I'm still in such shock. Here on Mockingbird Hill Road. And this was our home. And overnight, we lost it all. Mom Lindsay Davis, three-year-old Michaela, and 11-year-old Connor built many cherished memories. That's the stuff that I miss the most because I can't never get that back. All my baby pictures of them and all their baby stuff. At around 1 a.m. Monday, Lindsay woke up to her fire alarms going off. A fire broke out in the kitchen. Lindsay ran to grab her kids from the bedroom and out of the house. When I opened the door, that fire just said, you know, it, it kind of knocked me back a little bit. The family watched as their home went up in flames, along with everything inside. And it's just my whole life was in that, our whole life, my kid, every bit of my kids' stuff, all of our stuff is just gone in a blink of an eye. We went to bed and woke up to this. A donation center has been set up here at the city of White House Fire Station 2. The family didn't have renter's insurance and lost everything in the fire, so they can certainly use anything you can give them from toys to household items. The Red Cross is helping out the family. Lindsay knows there's a long road ahead, but for right now, she's choosing to be thankful. Oh, it's awful. No one. But it could have been, I'm so grateful we're out and we're alive. In Sumner County, Cena Sleem, News Channel 5. The family says they could really use monetary donations and furniture. We've got more information on how you can donate on our website, newschannel5.com.